The Treasury Secretary yesterday echoing the president's talking point, the IRS scandal, the NSA mess, and Benghazi, all phony scandals. How can the murder of four Americans be called a phony scandal? Let's ask former Florida congressman and Fox News contributor Colonel Alan West. Colonel, clearly this is a calculation on the part of the administration to call it phony, but it's not phony. Well, good morning, Stephen. You're absolutely right. Without a doubt, you have the PR experts, the messaging experts, and the spend meisters coming to the White House. You've already seen Jay Carney come out and talk about phony and fake scandals. And, of course, the use, once again, of the word middle class to try to get the American people away from focusing on the, the important issue of the economy. But Jack Lew came out yesterday and really just being another inept errand, errand boy for the administration, the evidence does lead to something is going wrong there in the IRS. When you look at the involvement of the head of the National Taxpayer Employers Union, when you look at Lois Lerner, when you look at now the uh, the chief counsel for the IRS, when you look at the former commissioner of the sure. IRS, Douglas Shulman, this is why we have to have a, a select committee, a special prosecutor, right. something that really does get down to the nuts and bolts of what has happened. You know, uh, Colonel, if, it, if it's a phony scandal, why did a couple of the people you just mentioned take the fifth? You don't take the fifth in a You're, phony yeah. scandal. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Something is there. Something is going wrong. And as you just had the guest on from Nashville, Tennessee, there are lives that are being affected, American lives that are being affected. And we haven't even talked about the Fast and Furious scandal where sure. Brian Terry lost his life. And, of course, no one is answering to that. And then when you look at Benghazi, we're coming up on a year. Right. We don't have any answers to what happened in Benghazi. We don't even right. know why Ambassador Chris Stevens was there in the first place. You know what? And to that point, uh, Colonel, we've got a new Fox News poll. How closely are people watching the news on Benghazi? Only 22 percent are right now, uh, 20, uh, 37 percent somewhat, which, as you can see, is down from a month earlier, which suggests that you know, the administration is trying to rope-a-dope and, and not give out any new information, and maybe it'll go away. I was talking to a big uh, Democrat in New Jersey politics yesterday, and they said, OK, it's clearly a political calculation on the part of the White House. It might be smart politics, but then at the same time, you've got the president of the United States responding on tape after every one of these things saying the IRS, uh, the DOJ, all that stuff saying, you know, people will be held accountable. You only do that yeah. if it's serious. And now they're pretending whoop, nothing there. And no one is being held accountable and no one is responsible. And that, to me, is the most insulting thing to the American people. And it is truly offensive to the folks who have, you know, lost loved ones or sure. have had their lives and their livelihoods affected. But, again, this is a political calculation because when you're the White House and you have so many people in the mainstream media who are really complicit and they're out there carrying the water for you, they believe they'll get away with this. Sure. And not a phony scandal to James Rosen or those... Uh reporters and editors at the Associated Press who were targeted as well. All right, uh, Lieutenant Colonel Absolutely. Alan West, thank you very much, sir, for joining us today from the beautiful city of Boynton Beach down in Florida. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thanks. Uh, what do you think about that? Email us, friends at foxnews.com or Twitter at Fox and Friends.